Hi everyone, welcome in. Today I'm going to be talking about four each loops in Zoho Deluge. If you don't know what these are, please stick around, or if you do, please stick around anyways, and you might learn something. One thing I'd like to say before we get rocking and rolling is I do have a Zoho One Suite course that comes out back after this year, beginning of next year, with over 50 hours of content reviewing every single application within the Zoho CRM. This is if while you're working for your client, your customer, your company, yourself you can you know refer to this course any single app you're having issues with it'll go into that if you have any questions you can contact me directly that way you're not sitting around waiting for Zoho's help or a friend's help or whatever the case may be but without further ado let's get into it one thing to know about that course I'm sorry is that if you'd like to pre-enroll I do have a link in the description below for 50% off I'll send you an email with the coupon code whenever I do make that that um, whenever I make that course fully available okay without further ado let's get right on into it so to loop through a list you first need a list if you don't know what a list is I did publish a video earlier today on how to work with lists you need items in your list okay we need to add those items to our list And then now we could do it for each loop. Okay, so for each item in my list items. You have gotten an error. There we go. Okay, so one thing to know is that this item is a variable that's interchangeable. Okay, so you can name it whatever you would like, it doesn't matter. So item, record, list item, does not matter. I'm just going to keep it as item for now because it makes a little bit more sense to me. But what this means is every time it goes through your list, so the first time around item is going to be equal to first item, second time around second item, third time around third item. Just so you can see what that looks like, I'm just going to go ahead and print that off. So you get first, second, and third item. Okay. This is very helpful to know how to use a for each loop. Okay. Zoho Deluge does not have while, do while, those different kinds of lists. They don't have a lot of pre-built functions into their lists. Um, so if you're, say you're using Java, they don't have the, um, the various built-in sort or um, they, it's very, very difficult to use. So you really only have that for each item um, or that for each variable in list. Um, loop that you can use so you really need, do need to make the most out of it. I'm going to show you a couple cool tricks here so let's say you don't just have a list of first item, second item, third item. Let's say you have a list of um, let's say accounts. So let's, let's create two accounts Jose Alvarado he's one of my favorite basketball players right now. He's hilarious yeah, account one dot put and let's say we already know his email. We're so lucky, we're super fans. Okay, and then let's do a second account. And let's say we have co uh, a name, and his name is Russell. I can't remember how you spell his name. <laughs> Okay, but it's Russell Westbrook, and his email, we're so lucky we're super fans of his too, is russ at gmail.com. Okay, so we have our two accounts. Let's just go ahead and add each of those accounts to our list. So account one. Okay. So now we're going to loop through those maps and we're going to print out, print those out. Oh, let's see. For my list items is not the fine line or 15. Oh, okay, sorry, my list. There we go. Okay, so we're looping through and we're seeing those different maps. If you want to, you know, get only specific information within those maps, you could do item.get and then the key you'd like to get. So let's say we want to know the names of all of our accounts. Okay, you can also, you know, um, add those to a separate list in a different format. So let's say we have our list and a formatted list. 
that we're going to need to send off to another API somewhere. So we're going to, um, in this for each loop, we're going to create a new map. So my map. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to put my map dot put, and we're just going to put um, my list dot index of um, item with um, your item. Okay. And that's all we're going to do. And then we're going to add that to our list, our formatted list, sorry. And then we're going to print off that um, formatted list. Okay, so what this does is it's going to loop through each account in your list. It's going to put the record number and then the, the account in a list, okay? And that way, if you're sending... Um, you're sending whatever it is, you're sending your information to another API, or you're just sending it back to ZOCRM in a formatted way, or you're calling another action you need to format it, you can't, and it needs to be in the number of the record it's placed at and the record itself, you can do that here. Let's go ahead and save and execute so you can see, yep, placeholder zero and then placeholder one. That is correct. Or if you wanted to, you could say like, you know, record, if it, if every record needs to have the key record, you can do that. Okay. So that's how you work with a for each loop in Zoho Deluge. If you appreciated this, I, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Also, I have that link in the description for my Zoho One Suite course. Thank you so much and have a